Hello, Fit Yummy Mummies. Well, I just wanted to say a big thank you for everyone who followed me last week as I reported the details of my menu plan and my nutrition plan online. And if you missed it, you got to go back and check out the thread and see what kind of ideas it gives you as far as the power of planning ahead, meal ideas, and that yes, it is possible to eat frequently and to get enough calories in. Hope I, I did a good job demonstrating that. And no matter how busy you are, there's always times that, you know, where maybe things come up or you change your mind last minute and you can still throw quick, healthy meals together um, that help you stay within the guidelines of what you're doing. I also want to say thank you for the accountability because I'm not, I don't get that. Sure, I'm online with you every day, but to really be um, putting what I do under the microscope and sharing the details with you really did help me refine my own nutrition habits because yes I will be the first to tell you that we get used to the habits that we've created and at times get very comfortable with those habits and can overlook certain things uh, what I noticed most was of course portion sizes and really measuring things out that help bring me back to reality of what a properly sized meal really is and while I'm at maintenance mode, I do have a little bit more wiggle room. So if I did, you know, make mistakes, you know, have too much to eat at this meal or not enough for the next, it's not going to impact me as greatly as someone who is really focused and determined to see, you know, faster fat loss results. Uh, this is the main message I want to get to you, though, is that it is possible to sit down and map out your meals. And, oh, my goodness, does it make a difference to how much easier the week ahead is when you have a plan before you. So once again, here we are Sunday, and I'm going to tell you that if you have not already done so, sit down and plan your meals. I will tell you this each and every Sunday until it becomes a habit to you. This is something that you just must do, especially for those of you who are experiencing the summer season, and we know that our schedules are chaotic as it is, you have to have some type of plan in place, even to allow for the what ifs. So. Your assignment today, sit down, plan out your meals for the week, get it going. If you need ideas or inspiration, look back at the thread. And I just posted yesterday Marluce's example of how when you do, you know, sit down and organize things, what a powerful impact that has as well. And hey, what are we, like the two-week countdown for the Summer Slim Down Challenge? Be on the lookout for all kinds of fun and exciting and motivational and uh, quick tips, final wrap-up tips that I'm going to be giving you this week to help you make the most of those final two weeks um, with some fun assignments and uh, we're going to get you pumped up so that you see the best results possible as we come to the close of the Summer Slim Down Challenge. The next challenge, 12-week challenge, will begin August 1st. So be prepared. Everybody who's been waiting, I know that you're excited to do this. Be prepared to make it happen. Uh, have a great Sunday. Grab a pen and paper, even if like I demonstrated, if you're driving in the car, getting ready in the bathroom, you know, sitting watching TV, write down ideas for your meal plans, map it out. You can do this. I have proved that it's possible. Hundreds of other women have proven that it's possible. Now it's your time. Have an awesome Sunday, and I will check back with you shortly.